best advice I ever got was just to let it go. Family says I smile a lot more when I'm on my own. But when I finally feel free, you get the urge to message me. Swear you never miss a beat. And the song is on repeat. I still see you in my sleep. How come I still see you when I dream? I've been running from the truth, but it don't matter what I do. It never matters what I do. I can't get away from you. Can't get away from you. Yeah, yeah. When you got a girl, I got myself an enemy. Cause I need all your attention like a centerpiece. And no, we're both trying to be friends. No, we're both way past the end of everything we could have been. My broken heart still lets you in. I still see you in my sleep. How come I still see you? My breath, I would have died an early death, waiting for you to value me, waiting for you to fail my test. Yeah, F is for faking love, F is for forgetting us, F is for feelings that faded. Why you fucked around and left me down, down, down with every girl that you found, found, found. I'm like Mary going down, down, down. You're like a dog in a pound, pound, pound. Had me looking like a clown, clown, clown. Got me out here crying out loud, especially when the sun go down. Hit me when the sun go down. I still see you. In my sleep, how come I still see you when I dream? I've been running from the truth, but it don't matter what I do. It never matters what I do. I can't get away, still see you in my sleep. How come I still see you when I dream? I've been running from the truth, but it don't matter. Y'all make some noise for my girl, Heather Ann Crawford, please. Hello, everyone. My name is Jesse Reyes, and I'm here because I've made a profound discovery. We're born, we grow, we die, and life is suffering. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. When we need to eat and we can't, we suffer. When we need to breathe and we can't, we suffer. Communal beings need to love, and when we can't, we write sad love songs. <laughs> In March of 2016, I was just getting started as a songwriter. I was knee-deep in demos and potential, but I had nothing to show for it, AKA broke. And to top it off, I was incredibly heartbroken over someone who had betrayed me. One night I went into the studio and I emotionally vomited into the microphone. Kind of like what I did here. <laughs> the song I made that night ended up changing the course of my life forever. I made figures. It went viral. I got signed. I went on tour. I made some bread. I officially retired my parents. I made an album. <laughs> Made another album, got called by TED Talk, and now I'm here with you lovely people. <laughs> Sounds great, but I'm not saying my life is perfect, and I obviously still deal with my fair share of problems. However, after that experience, I naturally came to subscribe to the school of thought that even when we can't see it in the moment, it seems as though the greater good is always working in our favor anytime that we connect the dots backwards. In case you missed the sarcasm in the beginning, I don't think I've made some profound discovery. But when I was presented with this opportunity, I wanted to take the chance to almost serve as a reminder for what seems like the obvious sometimes. At my shows, 
Near the end of the set, I tell this story, and every time I do, I always acknowledge the possibility of there being a negative Nancy in the audience thinking to herself, well, Jesse, I don't write sad love songs. Or, well, Jesse, I don't have faith in the greater good, so what the fuck does this have to do with me? Nancy, I'll tell you. <laughs> it doesn't matter what conduit you use, whether it's music, whether it's painting, whether it's a robotic electrical bird conspiracy. It doesn't matter what tool you use, but what's important to remember is this. The burdens of life get significantly lighter when we acknowledge the agency that we all have in converting a loss to a win contingent on how we approach and or capitalize off of the ruins at our feet. A very verbose way of saying life is what you make it. And we're all capable of magic and it just so happens that my version of this magic comes by way of turning heartbreak into songs. Hardship, hardship. This is a good one, are you ready? <clears throat> hardship can either be a Trojan horse or the Trojan condom you put on when you finally say, fuck it. <laughs> My big brother's gonna like that one. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying like do nothing and let go of the wheel when things go left, but when we employ some faith while simultaneously working on self-betterment, I think that we can get to wherever the river of life was going, regardless of us trying to resist, because there is no escaping it. It seems like the writing's on the wall. Life's a bitch. <laughs> but I prefer the way that my Colombian dad pronounces it. Life's a bitch. <laughs> the beach. The irony's poetic. So... I think sometimes it's better to ride the wave instead of drowning. My name is Jesse Reyes. Thank you for your time, and this will be my last song.
Thank you. Thank you very much.